Hello to everybody, this is Dinette Coder. Uh, I got a quick tech tip for you guys today. Uh, what we're talking about today is Discord. What is Discord? I get a lot of the same questions. Um, Discord is a multi user video chat application, okay? And uh, effectively, the way it's set up, it's an application that has. Um, you know multiple servers within it and each one of those servers I have the potential of having one or more voice channels and one or more uh, text channels right and it sounds a little bit more complex than it is and what I'll do is my best to kind of uh, break it down for you guys okay and so uh, first and foremost uh, what is what am I gonna do is uh, just uh, open up a um, Google search engine okay and then in here we're just going to type in discord okay you go here it's usually the first link that shows up discordapp.com uh, go there uh, and effectively download uh, the version for windows uh, for those mac users out there uh, unfortunately i'm a microsoft guy and i don't have any tech ticks, uh, or tech for you guys so anyway just click download let it download and once it's done of course you know you guys uh, you know of course can open it um, which I've already done that as you guys know um, so at that point um, once it's uh, downloaded and installed uh, what you can do is uh, you know go through the steps uh, you know, with your email address create your own account come up with a real cool clever name and uh, yeah and then booyah you'll be on discord at the first time that you go there you're not going to be on any servers though so the question that you would have is okay so how do I do that well what you can do is, uh, you know, uh, you can create your own server or, you know, you can go under the 24-7 live stream. There's a couple links down there um, that you could uh, join, like the Name and Shame server or uh, the Rudy Land server or something like that, um, in which you can initially get into a server. Um, unfortunately, at the time of this recording, the 24-7 live stream um, is currently uh, not uh, accepting uh, new people but that's uh, that's not to say it's always going to be like that it's just that they're uh, uh, getting some uh, back-end management stuff together so anyway stand by on that one uh, but the bottom line is uh, you know discord is pretty simple once you get the basics and what I'll do is I'll try to uh, share with you guys a little bit of what are those basics so right now I'll jump over to discord Okay, and so uh, this is uh, once you're inside of a server, okay, this is what it looks like, okay. So uh, more or less explaining, you know, what this whole area is. Very first thing is uh, if you pay attention over here, okay, these are all the different servers that I particularly have joined. And so I can actually click, you know, very quickly between any one of these servers and go directly there. And then I'll see something similar that you're seeing here in the center of the screen. Okay, so right now I'm in the 24 seven server and so um, the, the the distinctions that you need to be made aware of is that uh, this particular server can have multiple text areas and if you look it's primarily uh, next to the the channel name itself you see a little pound sign or a hashtag um, that's I indicating that um, you know that is a text area okay um, and looking down here right you see a little speaker that's next to this one that's indicating it's a voice channel okay so uh, what you want to do like um, you know, being inside of uh, you know this particular voice channel I've got everything muted right now for these guys because I don't want to record people and them not know it uh, but effectively if I wasn't muted you would hear uh, all the people that are highlighted right now uh, as they talk you would actually see them highlight uh, and you would actually hear their voice um, so uh, so that is uh, you know that that is the the voice channel kind of in a nutshell and then directly above it usually is the way that that uh, they do it um, is they define a text channel and in th this text channel is all of this information here as you can see we can post articles and, and um, text information back to each other and the guys around here are pretty smart they've actually uh, created bots 
And in this particular uh, bot, what it's doing is it detects whenever Donald Trump uh, more or less comes up with a brand new tweet. And then we actually get it before anybody else does, uh, it seems like. <laughs> so anyway, it's pretty cool. So... Um, so a lot of people wonder why uh, you know topics might change relatively quickly it's because we've got all this information so as i'm scrolling up over here you can see that we're sharing articles and information and each one of these would have a link you know etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's a good collaborative area uh, for like-minded people okay so back over here to the different text areas and, and scrolling down Okay, you can see that we have this other level and all these pound signs next to these. These are all also text areas, right? So if we jump over here, like for instance, this is Trump tweets. And you guys just recall that one tweet we were looking at. Well, there's a copy of it that's dropped right here. You see what I'm saying? And so we actually have a historical record right here in this particular uh, uh, text area, right, that these particular bots on this side, right, uh, one of them is responsible for, for um, I guess, going out and grabbing that information and, of course, sticking it over here. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of Discord in a nuts, nutshell. When you join a server, um, you know, you're going to see one of these links over here. Uh, this particular link is uh, this one. Um, so uh, th this is the 24-7 uh, server. So when I come here, the very first thing that I do is I actually click on this, which is the text area. And the very second thing I do is uh, click on this, which actually joins me to um, the voice area and so a lot of uh, other questions that come in is how do you set up you know your voice and all that stuff well I'll just come out the gate and let you know um, uh, go ahead if you don't already um, have a set of headphones with a mic on it okay uh, primarily because it's really going to cut down on echoes and, and stuff like that uh, you know and that's for people that use you know kind of open speaker systems um, that doesn't really work well because what happens is if you key up at the same time somebody else does there there becomes this like round loop of an echo um, and and it's just real disruptive so yeah definitely get yourself a headset with a mic on it okay and once you get that plugged in and set up and all that you know you may come into a server and somebody uh, may say hey you know can barely hear you or hey you're too loud you got to turn that thing down whatever uh, so upon doing that if you look down here okay this is where your name is and uh, directly over here to the right okay um, you actually have user settings so this is where you'll spend a lot of time when you're first getting your mic set up okay so go to the vi uh, the voice and video area and the very top okay you got input device and output device well input device right is your microphone the output device of course is what's coming back to you which is your speakers okay so if they're telling you they can barely hear you you might want to turn your input volume up here a little bit okay just turn that up a little bit I would say do it 20% um, at a time um, until and, and then test it again um, and then for your output volume whatever is comfortable for your ears uh, just just put it on that the next area is the input mode Okay, you have voice activity and push to talk. That's what Discord supports when it comes to using your voice. The voice activity setting is uh, something that I would actually suggest you not to use. And primarily because uh, when you have that turned on, whenever you talk, it, it's automatically going to transmit it. And that doesn't work good if you've got a loud household with a lot of things going on in the background. Uh, it's because you're going to pick all that up and that's going to constantly be transmitting and other people are going to be trying to talk and anyway it becomes pretty disruptive so moving on select the push to talk and then once you select that you're also going to have to select a shortcut what's a shortcut uh, any key on your keyboard that you don't use a lot okay uh, that you can use to turn your mic on when you want to talk and then of course you release that button uh, when you're done talking okay and so uh, really 
the way that this works to set up the shortcut, right, is just simply go over here and say, look, I want to edit this key bind, right? And that is just more or less, I want to set up my shortcut, right, for my push to talk. That's really all it means. So anyway, you would click on this and then like just say, for instance, uh, I was on something different, but while it's recording, you can hit, as you can see, I'll hit space, I'll hit control, I'll hit the up arrow key, the down arrow key, left and right. Um, so it'll it'll detect any key you push. I personally like using F4, which is the very top row. It's the fourth uh, function key uh, because the majority of applications uh, on my version of Windows, um, it uh, F4 isn't used really for anything um, so anyway that's what I use and when you're done you've got your key selected just choose stop recording and that's it that's all you got to do and then down here video settings I won't get into now because uh, this is just like a real quick set up and go kind of thing if you want to get into discord so anyway, when you're done with this stuff with uh, regard to your voice settings your input modes and all that uh, just simply hit escape and again, I'm not recording the people speaking in this room because I don't want them to uh, be recorded and I'm not be aware of it. But effectively, you know, if, if you're in here and like me, I could actually unmute my mic. And this is where you would mute and unmute your microphone down here next to your name and also your speakers, right? So when you actually mute your speakers, it's also going to mute your mic at the same time. But effectively, you know, right now my mic, even if I push the button, uh, my mic uh, is currently muted so nobody would hear anything that I'd say but if I was not muted um, then pushing down F4 right they would actually hear my voice transmission okay guys and so that's pretty much it um, you know there are a lot of servers again that are on this particular discord okay um, there are a lot of servers okay um, and I would suggest you know that you get on there join uh, a few servers get in there if you've got questions there's usually people in there to help but hopefully this video uh, kind of shed a little bit of light on uh, you know what discord is and more or less how it is that that we're using it uh, to really make America great again and help our president so there you go guys uh, till next time